I have never been sick a day of my life. I don't smoke, I rarely drink. Breast cancer does not run in my family. And yet here I am with stage three breast cancer. It is hard to say out loud. CNN Sarah Sidner is getting honest about a personal health scare. The anchor announced her stage three breast cancer diagnosis during a live broadcast on January 8th, and she got emotional while sharing the news with viewers. Just take a second to recall the names of eight women who you love and know in your life. Just eight, count them on your fingers. Statistically, one of them will get or have breast cancer. I am that one in eight in my friend group. Though Sarah noted that the illness is not a death sentence and confirmed she is undergoing treatment and has plans for radiation and a double mastectomy, she did tear up when sharing what has caught her most off guard during her journey and why she is urging other women to be proactive when it comes to their own preventive measures. Here is the reality that really shocked my system when I started to research more about breast cancer, something I never knew before this diagnosis. If you happen to be a black woman, you are 41% more likely to die from breast cancer than your white counterparts, 41%. So to all my sisters, black and white and brown out there, please, for the love of God, get your mammograms every single year. Do your self exams, try to catch it before I did. The 51-year-old didn't hold back her understandable shock and fear, but she signed off with an inspiring message about her commitment to a positive outlook during such a difficult time. Now here's something I could never ever have predicted would happen to me. I have thanked cancer for choosing me. I'm learning that no matter what hell we go through in life, that I am still madly in love with this life and just being alive feels really different for me now. I am happier because I don't stress about foolish little things that used to annoy me. And now every single day that I breathe another breath, I can celebrate that I am still here with you. I am here with my co-anchors, my colleagues, my family, and I can love and cry and laugh and hope. And that, my dear friends, is enough.